As most of you know, uh, there's been quite a degree of public debate uh, in the recent year or so about the idea of linking teacher evaluation to student performance. Um, uh, what do you see as the pros and cons for that idea? Is that an idea you support? And if you do support it, how would you link the performance to the teacher evaluation? Ms. Conrick. Student performance can be one component of a teacher evaluation. There has to be, just as in running a school system, there needs to be input from every part of the community, parents, administrators, um, everybody that, that can um, put input into that teacher's evaluation should. There should be, administra there should be different administrators um, evaluating the teacher um, and, and coming together co uh, collaboratively to um, talk about different things they've seen. You'll see different things on different days with, um, with different classes, with different students. Um, so we have to really bring everybody together that can possibly participate in an evaluation of a teacher and, and pull them all together in addition to student performance as one, only one, um, one element of teacher performance. Ms. French. Well, this is a reality. The race to the top has mandated that, and Dr. Grasmick has said that regardless of whether or not we get the money from race to the top, this will be a part and is a part of the new law that was just passed um, and signed by the governor. So a committee has been established by the state board. They begin meeting in September to come up with a fair evaluation tool for teachers and administrators based upon student performance and also um, other performance measures as well. Uh, the thing is is that the local board will then analyze what the state is recommending. We will be able to modify it to a certain extent. That will be a part of the public process and I hope a great deal of input from our own teachers who I think are the best in the state um, at the very least. And um, so this is going to be a long process, but it will be in effect, I believe, by 2014, 2014. Okay. 